Hello and welcome back to our vanilla survey results here today in September. Third time running we're doing this and obviously we're getting more and more respondents every time we do it, which is fantastic to see. You can see I've got the sheet here with me and um, what I'm also excited to look at this time around is that, you know, there's one question the survey always asking, three months from now, do you expect price to go up, down or stay unchanged? So now obviously with it being the third, third, third uh, survey, we can finally look at this in more detail and see, hey, what has actually happened? Were we correct three months ago? So first question then, um, what we see, as you can also see here behind me, is as always, where do you currently see the uh, grade one vanilla price in Madagascar? And it's quite clear we've got obviously um, 250 is the answer we've heard most of the time. Obviously that's where we've got the, um, the minimum price still in place. But um, it's interesting that kind of, I think a lot of people look at it in terms of like, where should prices be, you know, if the minimum price wasn't there. And we're seeing a lot of prices being at this below 250 price point. So we're hearing 200 a fair amount of times, but we're even hearing um, 170s, 180s. So that's really interesting to see, you know, that people are saying, yes, yes, we've got this 250 level, but in fact, prices should be much lower. So again, interesting to see. Um, and then obviously that segues A into the question um, that comes after this, which is, um, Three months from now, where do you see prices? Um, and again, there's nobody saying price will be higher in three months. And um, there's 64% that say price will be lower. And then there's obviously the remaining 36% that are saying prices will remain at this minimum price level of um, 250, which we're seeing at the moment. Now, let's backtrack that, right? Three months ago, we had a minimum price of uh, 350. Now we're at 250. Um, so we see price have come down over the last three months. And now kind of looking again here, we can see on the screen as well um, that three months ago, you guys were anticipating prices to fall. And it was by, I can see it here, 76% said um, in, in June that prices in um, August, September would be higher. And indeed, that's what we've seen. So, so well done to all of you. Um, then we always look at the Indonesian market, right? So what are you guys thinking um, about the Indonesian market? And here we look at in particular the grade two vanilla because um, it's obviously more common to see come out of um, Indonesia. Now we've got um, the average here comes in at the, about 190, I think, and but the, the, the median really we see is at the 230, 235 level. There's a fair amount of um, repetitions in that level. And I think that's what we keep seeing really um, throughout, you know, the, the service I've got and the discussions I do with you guys is that I think you're saying that you've got about 35 to $50 is where you see Indonesia, great to Indonesia below a great one um, in the, in the uh, Madagascan. So that's again, interesting to see here. Um, now, moving on to some of the other interesting questions that we haven't really seen before. Um, remember the first three questions are always the same, right? We wanna kind of keep that consistency in the market. So what are we playing with here? This time we're looking at when do you see or when do you think uh, the vanilla prices will reach the bottom? We want to give us, uh, for you to give us an answer in terms of um, the time scale time frame. Now, we heard a lot about, and I think that's kind of the midpoint really is um, at the end of next year. So people really anticipate this downfall in price to continue for another year. So for you buyers out there, uh, buyers of vanilla, that's I suppose good news because you can, you can somewhat continue buying the low stock you're buying, but it will also probably be then a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Because if, if purchasing remains low, um, that would put natural pressure on prices to drop further. And that's probably how it comes up. If you obviously sell our vanilla, not kind of the news you're wanting to hear here. Um, the good news, I think, for some of the sellers here on, on that are watching this is that we do have a fair amount of people that are thinking that, you know, the second half of 2020 is where we're reaching that, that low point of vanilla prices. So there is some anticipation across the people participating in the survey and the people I'm speaking to, of course, that prices are likely to increase further um, into 2021. But yeah, so interesting to see that here. Now then obviously what follows in from that question is what price level do you think we are going to get at this minimum point? And um, remembering here, of course, we've got the 250 level at the moment. Um, there are a couple out there that have said, you know what, 250, that's the lowest it'll stay. It won't drop any further. But we've got, you know, I think in the most extreme case from what we've received here, it was uh, going down to $20 per kilogram. Now that is quite a dramatic, and I think a dramatic drop, and I think that'll really impact the industry. I think that will have a very big long wave to follow up on it if prices go down that, down that low. I think it's not sustainable in Madagascar. You would see a lot of bankruptcies, a lot of people struggling with this. You'd have a reshuffle of the whole um, vanilla, vanilla market, certainly in Madagascar. So I think that's 
that would almost be in a lot of you guys that are that are sellers, right? And and, and buy at the same time. Um, don't want this to happen, right? Because you're like that's going to lead to much fewer people. You're going more into this oligopoly, monopoly kind of market again, which will then likely mean you've got price of eight hundred dollars per kilogram again at some point in the future. So looking then at the more kind of you know the more average median number here, we're looking at probably a hundred to one hundred and thirty is where a lot of you guys are anticipating prices to bottom out at. Um, and interestingly, that's kind of where we're also expecting this. This, you know, sustainable price for Manila to be. I think a lot of you, we've seen this in the last survey, for example, at that 100 to 130, 150 kind of bracket, um, you know, prices could potentially remain like this for a long time, which obviously gives a lot of you guys some, some planning uh, sustainability and some, some planning security, which again, would be good. Now, um, one of the questions I wanted to know here from you is, you know, um, the the price for we've had has that had a in terms of um, demand do you think the drop in, in prices had an impact on demand so lower prices higher demand as some of the economics might might suggest and overwhelmingly um it's actually yes like a lot of you have been saying that demand has increased on the back of on the back of uh, the lower prices which um, i find very interesting i've spoken to some of you about this and i think what you're saying is that yes demand is there Demand is increasing, but we are just, you know, there's still so much more volume out there now, right? So obviously we've got about a 20, 25% bigger crop now in 2020 compared to 2019. So even that increase in demand that sellers are seeing is not enough to really curb, you know, curb interest and curb prices up. Um, so that's kind of obviously on, on this end. So now we were asking some question on, are you seeing some, through coronavirus in particular, are you seeing some issues around shipping? Are you seeing some issues around the whole logistics behind it. And um, I think the overwhelming answer is no, there are no problems when it comes to shipping. Um, and obviously we know that, that you know there's restriction on people's movement, but uh, not in terms of goods. So again, um, I think the shipping side seems to be quite fine. Um, and then I think one of the areas that we really wanted to look at here, and I think that a lot of you have kind of voiced some interest in was, um, do you think that, um, you know, the minimum price, the government stepping in and, you know, kind of giving that some might say security, some might say unsecurity about a bottom price. Do you think it has made the industry more just or less just? Um, and overwhelmingly, as you can see here next to me, it has made it more unfair. People don't think this actually brought to the industry what the industry needed. Um, and obviously, I think that speaks towards that free market economy, I suppose. Um, that I'm, I'm hearing from a lot of you um, out on, on the phone as well. So um, I think that really sums up um, the, the August survey. Obviously, as I said, it's great to see so many of you participating in this. Obviously, our Mintech benchmark price remains unchanged at that $250 per kilogram level for our grade one um, Madagascan grade. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Obviously, dial in and any more questions you've got, you can always reach out to us at pricing at mintechglobal.com. Thanks for watching and until next time.